right, today we're taking a look at Koki Vermouth di Torino. So um, Vermouth's obviously have gotten more popular as some of these classic cocktails, Manhattan especially, have grown in popularity. Um, Carpano Antica is probably kind of the, the most premium, most well-known, but I, I always suggest people try Koki. Um, one, I think it's good enough and balanced enough to drink on its own. Um, I don't drink it straight though. You usually just pour it over a lot of ice, throw in an orange wedge, and you've got a cocktail aperitif right there, good to go. Um, vermouth, uh, you know, it's herbs, it's sugar, it's citrus, a little fortification, it's 16% alcohol, um, and usually it's used as a mixer. The lower end ones are used as mixers, but I really encourage people to drink it on its own, um, especially like before dinner, uh, just casual. It's just a nice way of having kind of a lower alcohol cocktail too. Uh, and sometimes you can do like a reverse Manhattan where um, you do mostly vermouth and then just a little bit of rye whiskey on top, blend that in and you'll really enjoy that drink. It'll be a little sweeter. So caramel and vanilla, a little bit of citrus on the nose. On the palate, it's obviously sweet, but it's got a nice balance of that spice to sugar to citrus ratio is what it's all about.